Hey, what's up? It's Taylor here. Uh, I wanted to first send a special thank you to my friend uh, at Shocker Racing for sending me this awesome shirt with my YouTube channel and Instagram technically also on the sleeve, so thank you for that. Uh, any of you guys, if you don't know who Shocker Racing is, go check them out. They, uh, If you like cars, you like girls, he's he's got a lot of good content for you guys on Instagram and on YouTube as well. So, And he's also on Facebook, all Shocker Racing uh, and shockerracing.com as well. But anyway, so the video I'm about to show you is one I took a couple of days ago and it's basically me in my first drive with this car with the Whipple on it and the weather was not the best because again I live in northern Illinois it's salty, it's cold and uh, <clears throat> just the road conditions are generally shit. So enjoy it as much as you can. I hope you like it. Uh, I'm trying to make my videos a little better. I know I've had some complaints. People say I sound like Obama or Tom Hanks or something but Whatever, I don't care. It's, it's you watch them, don't watch them. Um, I'd prefer if you did, but you know, obviously, if, if it's not for you, it's not for you. But again, I uh, just want to let you know this video: cold weather, tires spinning, and the car feels amazing. I can't wait for it to get nice out. Can't wait for the warmer weather. But uh, unfortunately, it means a couple more uh, weeks or months for me here in northern Illinois. And We'll see, we'll see where we go when the weather gets nice, but otherwise, please enjoy the video. This is going to be sort of a first drive with the Whipple Supercharger on my SS. Because I brought the car home yesterday, and it was rainy and windy, and the car didn't feel great to drive. But we gotta let the car warm up a little bit before we do anything. So as I said before, the car when you're just driving normally, um, low RPM cruising, it so far drives just the same. Um, doesn't feel any different than it did before it was supercharged. The only other thing is the gas mileage uh, the whole way back, averaging about 24 miles per gallon on the instant readout, which those are never exact, but it's close enough because truthfully the car always basically bounced around 24, 25 on highway cruising at about 60 miles an hour. So, so far gas mileage wasn't negatively affected for regular driving. I mean, even right now I'm just cruising along, it's 22, 24, and yeah, so gas mileage is good. It's not didn't get destroyed horribly. Right, temperature's up a little. Coolant temperature. Not sure about oil because the car doesn't have an oil temperature gauge. I'm gonna wait a little bit. That way I know the oil's warmed up because I don't want to beat on it with cold oil. So yeah, 2.9 liters. Uh, what that means is it's a, every rotation, it's feeding 2.9 liters of air. And the LSA supercharger is a 1.9 liter supercharger. The LS9 that the ZR1 has is a 2.3. Um, Hellcats, I believe, are like 2.3 or 2.4. I know they're big blowers too. And GT500, which my brother has, his is a 2.3. The new Z06s and CTSV and ZL1, those are 1.7s. So those are smaller superchargers, but they spin much faster. And, uh, you know, they get their power done uh, more efficiently for their size, but they're like overspun as it is. So they're not saying you can't do a lot with that car, but it's just, it's a very, very uh, high strung out small package dense supercharger as it is from the factory all right lights turn green here temperature right now it's 28 degrees out so it was raining yesterday and it dried up but it's still very very cold out Spins the tires, obviously, because of the power and how cold it is, but uh, definitely feels a hell of a lot faster. And there's a cop right there, so that's cool. Um, all right, well, that was that was interesting. Another red light here. All right, light's going to turn green. 
still a cop in front of me, so I can't be too crazy. supercharger it's like it's not not crazy loud but it is loud <clears throat> definitely gonna need tire <laughs> also right now a car has about has 8500 miles on it so drove this car 8500 miles without the supercharger and at 8500 basically it starts its new life kind of feel that this thing has a bypass valve in it so what I mean by that is when I get on it it like until I'm at a certain point in the throttle it just drives normal but once you pass that point you kind of feel like a like a kickback like something opened up like the bypass closed and now the you know you're actually getting the supercharger boost which that's gonna take some getting used to it was nice out and I wish I had better tires because third gear this thing spins like it used to in first gear in the rain <laughs> all right well traffic's getting kind of heavy here so I don't think it's going to let up probably for the rest of the drive to work but just wanted you guys to experience my first drive with this with the supercharger and uh it is definitely definitely a hell of a lot faster and uh Power delivery is smooth, it feels good, but you know, this is probably the last dry day that we're going to see for a while here in Illinois. Um, it's supposed to get colder and snow, and you know, it'll be probably a couple of months before I'm able to actually drive this thing and enjoy it on some uh, hot days with dry pavement. But the uh, the car, I'm sure, will be a hell of a lot more fun when I get get into those situations. So. As always, if you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and share these videos, and have a wonderful day.